dynamite. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, this is a supermarket. You two need to get a room. No. Renegade Cologne. For the man who wants to reek of masculinity, nobody tells a renegade what to do. Sir, that tree is not a bathroom. Oh, really? Oh, not on my shoes! Renegade. The renegade man goes where he wants for the smell of... Wet. The cologne for the animal inside. It's real sweat, because nothing attracts me. Hey, you can't come down here! Man. What do you think you're doing? I got a gun. Clubs. Success. It doesn't happen overnight. Or does it? If you want to make it as an international film star, you have to start at the bottom. That's where we come in. At Dream Makers, we'll show you the path to success. Our Eastern European acting coaches will give you all the skills you need for auditioning in the entertainment industry. My name's Philip. I enjoy pretending to be other people. Dream Makers helped me succeed in that goal. After some intense acting lessons, now I perform each day for thousands of people at the Glory Hole theme park. I came to Dream Makers because I want to dance on Broadway. They taught me how to use my natural talents to succeed. Now I get to dance every night for money. I succeed one dollar at a time. I did it! I'm in entertainment! If you really want it, you know you have to pay top dollar for the best coaching and career advice. We'll help point you on the path to success. Um, I'm fat, boring, and have no ideas of my own. Perfect! Why not be a movie producer? I'm attractive, but I can hardly read, let alone act. You're gonna have to sleep your way to the top. Starting now. For only $45,000, Dream Makers will have you on your way to success. Call today! There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all! I was always over-competitive and shallow! I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist. I only married you because you've got great guns! Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel, before it catches you. Do you that delivery for Woozy. Hey, you be careful with that. Are you sure, man? Yeah, I'm going for a five-card hand. Come on. Okay. Here. I'm a stick. What you got? How would I know? You tell me. Not good, man. You got a uh, 47. Damn. You're bad luck for me, you know? When I play the other guys, I always win. Boss, take a look at these two chips. One's a fake. That's amazing. You didn't even touch him. No, I just took a guess. Why else would he come in with two chips and sound so worried? You take a look. Oh, yeah, the dragon on this got the sunglasses and a white stick. Insolent bastards! I'll make sure the cashiers are extra vigilant. It's obvious where these chips are coming from. The Sindaco family owns a plastics factory across town. I'm gonna blow it to shit! Man, look, don't trip. I got you on this. Oh, hey, mate. 
What's going on? Oh, no bad, Chris. Get away from me. Aw, oh, you real calm. Stick and work. Hey, it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We don't want you here! Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Next caller! Hi, Derek! My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit faced and going deaf in 150 degrees and watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife loves me to And half the cars are sculpted by bald Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing things should be sponsored by things that are family friendly. Hard liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> this ain't lonely hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about biathlon is sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympics here eight years ago. Kids flinging javelins like ancient Creek, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. Hey, who's this prick? Somebody take care of this joker. Nope, this is. Fontaine, the creator of Inversion Therapy. For years we've helped patients get past their deepest and darkest fears and get on with their lives. Just listen to this. I, I was having really dark thoughts. I, I wanted to sleep with my mother. Now that I've done it, I don't want to anymore. Incredible! But, you know, it works. That's Inversion Therapy. Fear it, face it, do it, conquer it! Got it? Just listen again. Yeah, okay. I was terrified of my children being harmed. So I stabbed them. Didn't hurt me that much. Yeah, now I'm not afraid of anything. That's another life saved! <laughs> Inversion therapy works! I know. When you take your fear head on, then it's time to move on. I'm Darius Fontaine. Call me today. I'll change your life. Promise. Call 1-866-FACE-FEAR. Cock-a-doodle-doo, it's time for checking. 
Cock-a-doodle-doo, it's time for a feast. Eat a 90-piece bucket, you can tell. He's been to Clucking Bell. The chicken is a bird with a tiny brain. So we... Hey, Carl, how'd it go? Tell Woozy we'll be getting no more trouble with them counterfeit chips. Hello? Who am I speaking to? It's CJ. Hey, Truth, is that you? Might be. Might be a government algorithm trying to pick your brain, so don't admit anything. Whatever, man. What's up? I need a favor, Carl. Thought I could cash in some karma chips. Your credit good? I took some fellow travelers deep into the desert on a peyote safari a few nights back. We faced the inner light and communed with the Lizard King. Sound fun. How'd it go? That's the problem. I don't know. I'm in Los Santos. I woke up at a Japanese bathhouse about an hour ago. I have no idea how I got here or where the others are. They're probably fine. I don't think so. They were Brits, a band, and their managers. They have no experience about the desert. Okay. Where'd you make camp? I can go have a look. I took them up Arco del Oeste. Fantastic sunsets. Best start looking for them up there. Excuse me, sir.
Hello? Hey, anybody out here? The truth sent me. Hey, over there. Hey, man, you all right? Fucking hell! I'm fucking hanging! Stone me, bloody crows. Oh, where am I? I don't know, mate. I was having a dream. I was wanking over some fat bird's tits when this twat turned up. Macca, you fucking psycho. You did it again, didn't ya? That peyote was shite. You're lucky I brought some tabs along. I told you a million times not to put stuff in my fucking drink. Oh, piss off, kidda. Who are you again? Oh, I'm a friend of the truth. He said you guys might need a ride into town or something. But I'm a fucking raspberry! You're not a fucking raspberry! I can't feel my legs, RP. I've wanked the use out of them. Just stand up, you soppy cunt. We go through this every weekend. Ow, ooh. Man, what the hell was y'all doing last night? Anybody got a rag? Ah, <sighs> so where I'm taking y'all? I got a pal, Rosie. He's got some casino gig going down in Venturas. Sweet. All right. Fuck off, String. Oh, charming. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on, fucking Northerners. Well, it felt like I couldn't feel him honest. So where's the rest of the band, guys? Macca, where are the boys? I don't fucking know, do I? I remember snakes. Lots of snakes. It's a snake farm not too far from here. We can go check it out. You look as pale as a drowned baby, man. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I think I'm gonna chuck. P, what you need is some food down your... <coughs> a fried egg sarnie with mayonnaise will sort it. <coughs> and what about a pickled egg? Oh, pull over now! Man, get the step! Here we are. Look familiar? Looks just like Salford to me. What are you talking about? Take a gander at him, fellas! Is that him? That there city boy has gone and been with my prize hog. Now, I don't even get no sugar from her. And that one done screwed my sis. I had a terrible aching in my grinds ever since. I'm gonna slap you silly for giving me and my fella the red bumpies. What in tarnation? I'm a-fixin' to give you a whooping for what you gone and done to my young uns. Oh, you want this to get nasty? Man, motherfucker. Oh no! Run like fuck! Everybody in the car! Don't make me reach for my gun! Uh, oh. Now you got it! Seems you boys had a good time. Hey, what about the fun? We just have to play the place for civilization. Keyboardist and drummers are ten a penny anyway. Which casino is it? It's called Caligulus. It's on the strip somewhere, I think. What kind of tits does this Rosie have? Big fluffy sausage tits, empty saddlebags or bee stings? Rosie's a man! And stop touching yourself! It's just for comfort, Pablo. This is a stressful situation, man. You're fucking telling me it is. Ah, oh, can it, you two? Hey, he started it. Shit. <laughs> 
Here come them snake farmers. All right, I had enough. Let's finish this. Oh, I'm gonna grab some big tits, man. Oh, bollocks. In for a penny, in for a pound. You're dead! What? Hey, what was you saying? Uh. Yeah, that's how we do it in so- Give me that money! Oh. Come on, then. Let's go in and see Rosie. Kent Paul, here to see Rosie. Hey boss, there's somebody here to see you. Oh, go away. I have a migraine. Oh, hey, Rosie, son, it's me, Paolo. Oh, God. My despair is complete. Okay, let him in. Rosie, how are you, me old son? I pray that one day I can escape my perpetual torment and retire in peace and comfort a million miles away from anyone I've ever fucking known and instead, I get this? Come on, it's me, Kent Paul. Well, hello, Paul. What a pleasant surprise. Who the hell are these guys? These are my boys, Maka and Cole. Sir. You are any speckled doves, boss? I'm peeking on one right now. Top of the range, <laughs> man. Well, it's fitting as I sit here up to my neck in a river of shit with every mafia gorilla from Liberty City to Los Santos pissing in my face that you, Kent Paul, should witness it. What's the matter, son? Too numerous, oppressively insurmountable, and depressingly fucking typical even to mention. It's all right, bruv. Paolo can help. Give us some space, would you, son? I'll give you a tinkle later. All right, for sure. Not you, Mecca. Oh, you twat. Unbelievable. Hey, Woolsey. I think I found a way to scope Caligula's casino without causing too much suspicion. We can talk later. Speak on it. Alright, Cole? It's me, Paolo. Listen, Rosie's in a tangle, and I think you're the geezer to sort it out for us, okay, sunshine? Slip round the office and see me, double quick. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Oi, Rosie, liven yourself up. Cole's here. <sighs> Hello. What's happening? Hey, there's some top fanny down at that pool, Pabsy. Eh? Oh, leave it out, Dimlo. What's wrong with you? Well, are you going to tell him or shall I? I'm really screwed. Crack on, Rosie. Spit it out. I threw it all away. Okay. I had the power, the money, the ladies, but I couldn't lay off the blow. So I went into rehab and everything went to shit, but so what? So when I came out, I started representing the Liberty City mob again. And that's how I ended up here. But no one family would trust another family to run the casino. So I was put forth as a neutral party. So now I spend my days waiting for one family to cap me and blame the other one. My only friend is a bird named Tony. I never fucked anyone over in my life who didn't have it coming to him. Shh. 
shit. Let me think about this. You're gonna have to break it down for me real quick. Okay, okay. The Sendakos are on the warpath. Okay? I mean, something terrible like has happened to Johnny. I mean, he's in a shock-induced coma at the hospital across town. Now, the Ferellis, they will take this opportunity to rub him out. Now, if any hit between the families succeeds on my turf, I will get the axe, bullet, machete, Okay, whatever. okay, relax. I'ma shoot over to the hospital and move the body or something. There you go, my love. Things ain't so bad, are they? <sighs> Bada bang! So here I am, about to try and rescue some guy that's scared half to death. If he wake up through all this, I'm screwed. Sir, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up Mr. Sendako. Mr. Sendako? There must be some mistake. An ambulance just picked him up. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. Right, who's messing with Pirelli's business? 
Yeah, who's got a dead fish? Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was gonna be discharged till tomorrow. 